One day, we have released a video about the ways how to avoid a cloud storage subscription fee. And there were quite common options like switching multiple microSD cards, like getting yourself a video recorder with a hard drive and etc. And this time, we went further with an option suggested by a viewer of the channel, Vikaboo, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, who suggested using an open broadcast software, OBS, to stream a video from a camera to a YouTube that eventually gives us almost an unlimited cloud video storage for free and 100% legit. Now let's see what it is and how to set it up for you. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. On the one hand, when you purchase a camera for yourself, you know that you need to take care of the storage free footage from the camera. And there are offers from cloud services in the subscription form, there is a microSD card option, but not all cameras support it and the capacity is usually not large. There is a video recorder where we additionally buy a hard drive on a terabyte plus and this is the main and most common option. So YouTube. Judge for yourself. Free video hosting for everyone in the world. Free video hosting for everyone. No fees, no limits. And if you restrict your channel to a private access only, it's even better. In fact, this is the same cloud storage for videos, but it's free, commonly used by half of the world, almost unlimited and legit. So the essence of the method is that we set up a certain software called OBS. I'll leave a link for it in the description. And the tool, by the way, is widely used by streamers on YouTube and Twitch due to its simplicity and the fact that this is a freeware. So we take the RTSP stream incoming from the camera, which nearly every IP camera has support for, and we output it to our decoder on the PC to the OBS software, which in its turn converts the RTSP stream to the RTMP stream supported by a majority of streaming services, including YouTube. So we turn on the broadcast in YouTube and start streaming from OBS to YouTube. And this broadcast will be saved on YouTube. So this is how we get a free cloud storage for videos from our camera. It may sound complicated now, but it's a theory. And the practice is literally a couple of highly simple steps. So I'm, I'm sorry to delay it. Let's move on to practice. And let's start from the IVMS. As you can see, the camera HiQvision DS2CD2443 has already been activated. So you can see it in the here online status. Uh, and added into my IVMS 4200 account. Yeah, that's the exact tool you can see it here. Uh, I won't show the process of activating and adding because I've done this hundreds of times on the channel and you can just request a link to that video in the comment section. So this is our first step and activate it and edit camera with the online status right over here. Uh, and now we go to VAP, you see a uh, people system channel and we go to the OBS studio uh, website. So you can download it for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. So yeah, you press any button, the downloading starts and right after that happening, as that happens, uh, you press install and install. While the installation is in progress, we go to YouTube, press our account image and go to a YouTube studio. And here at the top, you see a create button and we press it and press go live again. And now we've, we've got a stream page in front of us. So I'm going for a new stream, um, naming it test. I'm naming it test here, I'm clearing all that I have and make it private. So no one would access it except me. Now I do, mm -hmm, well, other things you can choose like anything that you have. It just doesn't matter because it's already, it's already in a private mode, so it doesn't matter. Now we're waiting just a little bit and you'll see just this screen. And what happens here, you don't actually need all, all of the settings. It's up to you. The only thing I do, I set it to ultra low latency and that's it. Now leave the browser in this position and launch OBS. And 
this is how the start off screen looks in the open broadcast software. Now, what we need, we're gonna output the RTSP video screen from our camera. So we're gonna just take it uh, right here to the OBS program. And we'll start from preparing the RTSP link. So for high vision, and actually that applies to all other manufacturers, there is an instruction on a, on a high vision website and the link to it also, I'll leave for you in the description. And here's how it looks. Let's minimize. And I've created a node. So there's like two ways, RTSP without authentication and RTSP with authentication. And these are the most common options that you see right here. So uh, the difference between those two is that here you also have this admin and password that you don't have actually here. So uh, this 101 is first channel mainstream and oh, right, 102 is a substream. And the same applies to the authentication too. And so, yeah, let's begin. The RTSP is the type of the protocol we use, then the username that you have created uh, upon the camera activation and the password. Next is the camera IP address. Here it is. And the RTSP upcoming port. Next is, I suppose, the action that, that, that's happening in streaming and channels, which is 101, or it can be uh, 01, 02, 101. It can be just simply one or two with, without any zero. So it's depend, depending on how you got everything set up. Uh, so I am copying this. And the question is, where to find this information for your camera? So I'll tell you, you go into IVMS 4200, which is already running for me. Here's uh, the camera you've got. Let's see. And here's the IP address, of course. And to see the RTSP stream port, let's go to the settings. Let's go to network and port and locate RTSP stream port, which is 554 for me. Well, copy it and then you got it paste it, uh, well, or memorize it. All right, uh, so we've kind of formed the link, except I'm gonna input my password right now, which will be 2018. Yeah, I know that I'm just revealing it right now, but it actually doesn't matter because it's a one-time password. And from here, I go to the uh, OBS. And where is the OBS? Ah, uh, yeah, there we have, there, there we go. So OBS, uh, what we do here? We, we've got a one scene here in the sources tab. I press plus and locate a media source. Naming it a cam stream test. Steam, all right, you can stream when I need stream. And okay, and now, 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 uh, you need to uncheck the local file and that link, our TSP link that we've created, you gotta put it right here to the input field. So there goes mine. And if done right, yeah, paste it, press an OK. And if done right, your camera footage will appear right here so that you can see well. Well, hello, how are you doing that? Right, as a camera guy, you see him almost in every video. There's nothing. <laughs> Nothing regular. All right, uh, so this just tells us that everything is being all right. Let me just prove it. So this is my camera. Hello, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, 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 just, just done it. And now, uh, now I wanna stretch it over like I did just right here. I put it in the middle of the scene and I also want it to be locked so it wouldn't be moved or anything. Now, the final step is as follows. We go to file here on top, settings, and locate the uh, stream. And there is this field stream key and a service. So in a service, you select YouTube, YouTube gaming. And for stream key, we go back to browser. There, there we go. And there you can see stream key passed in encoder. And we just copy it. We're getting back to the OBS, pasting it here, press and apply, okay, and we are actually ready to go. So we have just specified the recipient address, the video stream, which is of course the YouTube uh, service, YouTube broadcast. 
So we are just ready. And now the most crucial step, launching our stream. So here is the button, start streaming. And I go press it. And now live appears. I can see the, uh -huh, I can see the speed. I can see the wideness. And now let's get back to the browser. You will see there's an excellent connection. We we'll wait till the image appears. And here we go. Coming right from the OBS, coming right to the YouTube. And from here, you press go live. Let's just wait a bit. And we are on air. And that's it, which is awesome. So, um, uh, the stream goes in parallel with the upload to YouTube service, and so we've got an archive that we can view in the same way we do in any other cloud services. Uh, and um, for your information, for your information, the maximum video length on YouTube is 12 hours, and the file size is 128 gigs maximum. But there are no such restrictions for broadcasting, and it can literally last forever. But this recording itself cannot ex exceed 12 hours. So I think YouTube will start a new recording every time after two hours of stream. And what else I want to mention? Um, for the streaming purpose, the soft stream is used, which always goes in significantly worse quality. And what we can do about it is to raise this quality in the camera settings, but don't expect it to be full HD. Apparently, the only drawback of this method is that you need a PC as a server with such OBS decoder that can work 24 by 7 to perform this decoding and redirection of video to YouTube service. It will be perfect if you have a stationary PC at home and you can assign it to perform this function. And if you don't want to worry about all this stuff in the Bebel System Store, we have got for you NVRs, DVRs and hard drives for them micro SD cards, as well as alarm systems and IP intercom systems, in addition to your camera set and many other devices and brands. And if you specify that you are a subscriber, we'll make a more interesting offer for you. And if you need help, your questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below. And not a single moment will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.